The overall goal of this technique is to measure red cell deformability and cellular heterogeneity by ectocytometry. These methods can help answer key questions in ectocytometry, such as how deformable erythrocytes are, how heterogeneous a blood sample is, and how these parameters change as a function of disease. The main advantages of these techniques are accessibility, convenience, and reliability in measuring deformability and cellular heterogeneity of red blood cells populations. The techniques may be useful for monitoring the response to therapy in sickle cell anemia patients because red cell deformability and heterogeneity are correlated with hemoglobin composition and concentration. These methods can be applied to other diseases characterized by decreased red cell deformability, such as diabetes, where decreased red cell deformability might contribute to microvascular disease. Begin by connecting the zero osmolar tube to the low osmolar PVP solution and the 500 osmolar tube to the high osmolar PVP solution. Ensure that the bob is lowered completely into the cup. Launch the software and prime the machine by selecting Hardware Check and then Instrument I.O. Allow the instrument to complete the priming cycle. Once the cycle is complete, Lift the bob out of the cup and completely dry the bob and the cup with a low lint cleaning tissue. Gently mix a freshly drawn whole blood sample by inverting the vial several times. Then, pipette 25.